Oh, okay, you guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. Try to get you centered. Probably not gonna work. Okay. I am having breakfast number two. Hold on, I'm gonna get a blanket to sit on. I just did myself tan, so I don't wanna get tan everywhere since I, oh my gosh. Okay, I need to just like take a second. I feel a little light headed. I like got right up this morning and um, hit the ground running because I wanted to do like a little house reset because we were gone all weekend. So anyways, I got right up, cleaned the kitchen, did the dishes, changed the sheets on our bed, <clears throat> did some laundry, showered. Did my tan. And now we're here. I think I'm just having like a whew, out of breath moment. Yes, I did have breakfast this morning. It's about 10 now. I had two eggs and a piece of toast with avocado. So good. And now I'm having milk and granola because it's what sounded good. <laughs> yeah, today is Monday. We went and looked at a bunch of houses yesterday, which was really exciting. <clears throat> um, there was one that we loved 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 but we're not pulling the trigger on anything yet and we know that a lot more houses are like march 1st apparently a ton more comes on the market so we're kind of being patient for now we have a good option that we do love and there hasn't been any offers put in yet so we will see what happens but we went and saw five houses yesterday i think i'm just exhausted but today we're gonna do some unboxing of some baby stuff our best friends got us the Duna, which I'm so excited about. They are parents of two babes and they rave about the Duna. They like always told us we just needed one and they got it for us, which is so sweet. So I'm gonna do that. We have some other stuff back there that came in. I created my own thank you notes on Canva as well. So that was fun. This is what I designed. Let's see if it'll focus for you. There we go. So it's just our little photo and then on the back it just says thank you so much for your thoughtful gift with so much love maddie ryan a baby girl so i got some thank you notes because we've already been getting so many gifts from our registry so i was like i might as well, obviously our shower isn't for a little while but i thought i could get a start on thank you notes for the gifts we've already gotten so that's on my list today and then yeah, just kind of continuing to take it easy. I just don't feel that great today. So um, we will see how the day progresses. But I'm about to read my pregnancy book for the week and do my pregnancy journaling. If you guys are just stumbling across this video somehow and you didn't see my last one, uh, my last vlog, I go more into detail about my pregnancy journal. But I created it on Canva and uploaded it via Kindle Direct Publishing to Amazon. So it is for sale if you guys are looking for a pregnancy journal to journal your pregnancy it would mean the world to me if you guys ordered it and seriously let me know if you do because i would love to send you a little something to say thank you and kind of re-get my day started check my emails and hit the ground running this is my post tan outfit i have ryan's colorado shirt on in these huge like pajama bottoms and i'll be back when i'm gonna do my makeup down here i think so i'll film that today for y'all then i'll be back with more updates it has been a bit of time i just finished my first breastfeeding class which i did through aeroflow um which i think is like the pretty it's the most common place to get breast pumps and um, products through your insurance so all that was free i'm about to open it up but yeah highly recommend if you are expecting oh my gosh i got so many milk storage bags yay they sent me 300 breast milk bags probably won't even need that many maybe i will you never know 
this is the one I decided to go with. Since I'm primarily planning on breastfeeding, I went with the Spectra, what, it's not, it's Model 9 Plus. So it's portable and rechargeable. This is the one I went with because Again, if you're planning on primarily breastfeeding, I'm hoping not to have to pump that much. This one said it had, I like read all the reviews and stuff, it had good reviews for if you're primarily breastfeeding and are just going to need to supplement here and there. Maybe not quite as strong as some of the others. It's a little bit smaller. So let's see, we've got, oh, it comes with bottles, cute. We've got, looks like all the parts here. Put the two different size. Phalanges, and then it's just this big. Gotta love that. It's in my phone. Oh. Gonna have to figure out how this bad boy works. Keep you guys posted on if I like it. I did put the, oh, which I forgot to mention. I did finally figure out a way to like get my whole registry up for you guys so you can see the links to everything and you should just be able to really easily add things from my registry directly to your baby list or your Amazon registry um, or whatever you've chosen. So I will link that in the description box below. And if you have any specific questions, I can like walk you through it, but that seems like the easiest way to go through the registry stuff. But I did register for the Mom Cozy portable ones as well, the ones that like sit right in your bra. But again, I don't know how much I'm gonna end up using it. It seems really nice since you're on the go. So we'll see if I end up getting that one all posted. But okay, fun stuff. Just kind of feeling the today. And I'm not sure why. Just because I'm pregnant. I just realized that with the Duna, you already get the infant insert and the car base, the base part. I just like, I had the base on my registry because I thought we had to order it separately. And like, this thing has everything. I mean, look at this. It's like insane. Excuse me, Tippy. Car seat and stroller, latch base, head support, infant insert, and vehicle seat protector. so amazing just can't even believe it okay all right you guys so i think what i'm going to do is take a little rest and then when i wake up i'm going to when i wake up i'm going to get ready for the day we'll unbox the duna and reconvene in a little bit no Okay, we're back. I feel like after the conversation, it's now 4:45. Ryan has a work thing tonight, so I am going to make us a quick early dinner. We've been really enjoying early dinners lately, and then I usually just do like a snack before bed, so it's been nice. We are gonna do tuna melts because that's what we have. We didn't have. We're actually like sous vide some steak, and then I'm gonna make some sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts also. But Ryan's not gonna have time to eat it before he goes. So we're gonna do tuna melts and I'm watching The Bachelor. So that is what's happening. I ended up being insanely tired today. I think I just had a day. I'm just I think I said this earlier, but I did not end up <laughs> boxing the Duna. I didn't do my makeup. I chatted with a friend for a while, took the breastfeeding course, did a little bit of work and rested on the couch. And then Ryan and I just went for a nice little walk, which I started getting Braxton Hicks during. So that was fun. Yeah, the Braxton Hicks probably started a week or so ago. Oh my gosh, my first lemonade of the day because we didn't have any this morning. Usually I chug a glass in the morning, but Ryan had to go to the store to get some. Anyways, but today on the walk, it was like a long breath, Braxton Hicks contraction and it hurt. And I was like, oh, this is what this is. Okay, I'm gonna make our tuna melts. I'm gonna do sourdough. I'm gonna make the tuna. In my tuna, I usually do olive oil, mustard, chopped up pickles, chopped up celery, chopped up carrots if I have it. I like my tuna like really crunchy and seasonings little sriracha if you're feeling frisky 
and then I'm gonna put provolone cheese on the top and stick it in the broiler for a little bit. It is officially the next day. Did not do a great job of following up last night, but that is okay. We, oh my gosh, one second. I always get so out of breath walking up our stairs. At that point in pregnancy, for sure. It's the next day, it's Tuesday, and had a great night's sleep last night. I remembered to take my Unisom, which is always a bit of a task to remember to take it. If you guys don't know what that is, I take Unisom Doxalamine for insomnia. I took it all first trimester for nausea and it really helped. So if you can take it, I highly suggest. There is no risk to the baby according to my OB. So anyways, I remembered to take it last night and I did not have my 4 a.m. random insomnia wake up. Going to quickly do a little bit of makeup. It's hair wash day today. I'm doing like a whole hair wash TikTok reel. So don't forget to check that out. I'm just gonna do a little bit of makeup today because I'm gonna film a bunch of content. I don't know if I've showed you guys this before, but I always take witch hazel on a little cotton round and I usually do this before I put my sunscreen on, but I was talking so I was distracted. And I always make sure that the residue from my eyebrow gel is rubbed off. Because if you don't get that stuff off, your makeup will like settle into that area and then it looks like you have like a weird arc of dried gel on your face. So I did my self tan yesterday, so I'm feeling nice and confident and tan. So I'm gonna do a little bit of deep bronzy drops mixed with my Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Love this stuff. This always gives a really good foundation and glow if you're not gonna use a foundation, which I'm not gonna do today. So this just gives you like a little bit of color match to the tan to match the rest of my body. Taking a little bit of Sephora Collection concealer, going in and just concealing the extra the areas where I need a little bit of extra coverage. This brush is such a winner. It's the Merit, uh, I think it's the only brush they have actually. It's a game changer, I love it so much. I got it for Christmas and ever since I got it, I prefer this over a beauty blender or over my other like Sephora brushes. Turn the light for you guys. Ah, that's so much better. Yes, I have the Alex Earl little makeup light. Highly suggest if you are filming any kind of content or you just want to be able to see yourself like up close and personal. Okay, so the days I don't do foundation, I go in with Merit, I think this is called the Contour Stick, Bronze Balm in the color CN. Kind of go crazy with this stuff. It blends in really nicely. So I kind of do a little bit more than I would like a normal contour stick because this stuff is so creamy and again just kind of like melts right into your skin so just a little bit of concealer today concealer i always either take a beauty blender or use my finger to start the blend and then i kind of use the brush to finish it off just on my under eyes because i just feel like you get a much more seamless blend. I am officially out of setting powder. I threw away my Laura Mercier because I said this in the last vlog, but it's so toxic for you and your body. So I had to say au revoir to the Laura Mercier setting powder. So I've just been using like the powder puff thingy from Amazon and just kind of tapping everything into my skin. Obsessed with the NARS, um, Laguna blush, especially when you have a little bit of a tan. It's like a little rosy. Too Faced Kitty Likes to Scratch palette and I use the color Backstage Pass. And it's just like a really light brown, brownish orangish color. I think it just gives you like a little something, but it's never overpowering and especially for 
days like today where I just like not really getting ready for anything in particular. I just don't need that much eyeshadow. That's what I do. Okay, Merit Flush Balm in the color Cheeky. I am thoroughly obsessed with this stuff. I go a little crazy again because it is so creamy that it just blends right in. So you can't really go overboard with the blush in my opinion. A little bit on my nose, drag a little bit onto my lids, a little onto my forehead. Okay, next I've been taking Charlotte Tilbury pencil in natural brown to do like a little bit of a winged liner look. And I kind of just paint some on there. I'm having some serious round ligament pain today. Okay, so I kind of just take the angled brush and buff it into my lash line and then kind of drag it out like so. Currently for mascara, I am using Thrive Liquid Lash Extension. I got it for Christmas, so that's what I'm currently using. The last steps we're gonna do are Dior. I like to do the Dior backstage. My thing rubbed off, but it's the Dior blush. But I think it's called like backstage blush, something like that, in the bright pink color. Okay, I'm gonna do a teensy tiny bit of the Patrick Ta blush in She's Giving. It's like a really, really nice bright pink color but it's super pigmented, so I don't like too much of it. Just a skosh. Okay, and then the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This stuff is everything it's hyped up to be, in my opinion. Okay, and then I always take a little bit of extra, put it kind of right there to catch the light. And then obviously a teeny bit there. Milani, make it last. Here's the belly, 28 weeks. Crazy. All right, you guys, I've got some work to do. I will check back in with you in a little bit. What you doing, baby daddy? Lunch time. I did not expect you to be doing. Do you want to say hi to people? Hi everybody. Yeah, just making a little green chili and rice before we go on our nice little spring winter storm walk. Winter walk. It's 30 degrees out. Just finished my hair. It's looking good. Looking luscious. Feeling clean. Looking good. Feeling luscious. <laughs> Looking clean. And now I'm gonna put a beanie on and go out in the snow. Go play. With my guys and my girl. Uh, my dad made it. It's mm -hmm. Colorado hash green chili. We've had it in the freezer for a while. Yeah, vacuum sealed though, so. Like. Freshness is. Anyway. Is there. Um, Okay. Thanks. Okay. See you guys after our walk. Bye. Bye. I'm such a dodo brain right now because I literally had my tripod fully set up and ready to film, but I ended up doing a TikTok of like the unboxing of the Duna. So I didn't film any of it for YouTube, but here she is. She's so cute. We got the nitro black color. Um, it has the infant insert, it has the vehicle seat protector and the base, but you guys, I'm obsessed with it already. So cute. Sorry, I didn't film that on here. However, I just, I just forgot, you know, just one of those things. All right. Having a little snack because I got so hungry. I have some leftover tuna, crackers, and a little bit of hummus. I started getting Braxton Hicks. Did I mention that already in this vlog? Not sure if I did or not. Oh my gosh. 
is a very interesting feeling. <laughs> we went for a nice walk out in the snow. It was so lovely outside. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating my snack and then. Oh, well, I think this is gonna wrap it up for this vlog. I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you're ever curious, things will be linked in the description box, like outfits I wore, products I went over, things I mentioned. So if you're ever curious, just go ahead and go down there. I would love it if you guys shared this video with somebody, maybe you have a pregnant friend or someone you think that would love my content. I would so appreciate it, especially since I'm doing this full time now. So had to do that little add in. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I will see you back for the next vlog. Bye.